Hello friends, I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 9 of season 2 of The Dragon Prince. It's the season finale for season 2 and I'm really excited to get to it. Uh, last episode, uh, unfortunately, like I usually record these in batches of two, like two at a time. Uh, and unfortunately I was not able to do so, so I'm really excited to get into this because last time ended on a massive cliffhanger, I felt like. Callum is going through some stuff, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and like... Uh, there's also the thing with Sauron. He's currently, like, crippled. I don't know, Claudia's desperately looking for some way to fix him, and she hasn't succeeded yet, so there's that cliffhanger kind of as well, you know? And uh, Viren is uh, trying to evade capture while listening to this uh, Aravos, or how, however you pronounce it. There's a lot of stuff we can talk about. I spent a lot of time talking about like the 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 Callum situation last time, and um, there's yeah, there's a lot to discuss here. Esfran also found out that his dad is dead, for instance, and he's now the king. <laughs> so, so I was like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm not going to be able to go into any form of discussion now though, because I really need to know what happens next. I really need to know what goes on with Callum and Aravos. Like, I'm interested in Soren as well, but I don't really care in the same way about Soren. He's a lovable goofball and an adorable idiot, but like, yeah. <laughs> Let's get to it. Before we start, though, I just quickly want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, I am uh, 18, like, yeah, 18 episodes ahead of where I am on YouTube, so season 3 should be done, and unfortunately there's no season 4 as of yet. So I will be nine episodes or ten episodes or so into whatever comes next after this. So yeah, if that interests you, feel free to check it out. Link is in the description down below. Uh, the episodes over on Patreon are also uncut, not edited down like here on YouTube. There's also all the other shows and movies and stuff I do. Let's get into it. Episode nine of season two of The Dragon Prince. And it's not going to get better. Oh, I can't leave you like this. There has to be something. Yeah, I'm sure that there is something. We'll, 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 we'll see. Oh right, the banther that Esrin had a chat with. Callum, are you okay? I I I, yeah, I said it I said it the previous time, but I really love dream imagery like that, where it's like he's metaphorically drowning. He's uh, and it gives like a a physical representation of the like, metaphysical that's going on inside of him. Ezrin, I hope you know I never meant to hurt you or Callum. It was scary. I don't know about that. You, you kind of did mean to. Thank you. Don't worry about me. I'll be safe. I don't like the fact that you're here, Ezrin. <laughs> it's a big cat. Although, it all, like, I, I see banther, bear, bear, panther. I kind of have a way with animals, and banthers are actually pretty friendly. So the, the tradition from Avatar is still going strong with combined animals. Whoa. Wanna go up there? So you can throw him off? You monster. I'm exaggerating. Throw the mirror into a river and cut you off forever. You won't. No, he won't. Curious. Yeah, it's not just curiosity. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> it's ambition. <laughs> that's the thing, <laughs> the key thing driving Viren. He's power hungry. Search your heart. There's something that you want very badly. But something or someone stands in your way. I. Yeah, she does. Getting the to to priestess or whatever she is. To hear the leaders of the other four human kingdoms. Then we will have to get their attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like this. That pairing, Aravos and Viren, is not good. <laughs> My dad. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I don't like how close to the edge you guys are sitting. My mom and dad split up. Yeah, did she leave because she saw... Fight a lot at fight night a lot after of nights. we went to bed. Yeah, because he's a monster. We had to choose. And Soren chose Dad. Oh, and she chose Soren. She said I had to stay with Soren. That yeah. this was my home and my brother and I needed each other. 
and then she left. I mean, you do kind of need each other, don't you? When you grow up, sometimes there are changes you don't expect. <laughs> you have to face things you're not ready for. Esron, you are way too young to be this wise, dude. <laughs> and I'm lucky to have my brother. Soren is a. Oh no. <laughs> He's my dude. <laughs> Can't get rid of it. <laughs> What's the bird saying? Ezrin, you don't just have a way with animals. You could talk to them, can't you? Yes. He can. If I can find milk fruit, maybe I can. Help okay. Soren. Or some sort of dark magic. You've got to stay with me. Sarai? Sometimes you just need to focus on the present. Take a deep breath and just be. <gasps> yes. Callum. Just be in the present. Be in harmony with the world. Be okay again. What is going on? <gasps> Sometimes That's sky, right? I just have to breathe. I wonder how he's getting access to it, though. Something truly and deeply. Like, he used the primal stone. Maybe he forged some sort of connection at that point? I can't lose you like this. You mean too much to me. Callum, I... No, do not. Come on now. Yeah, she was about to say something stupid. I have it. I understand the Sky Arcanum. Yeah, you do. You go, boy. <laughs> a milk fruit bush. You leave them alone, Claudia. I don't trust you. I almost forgot how dear love milk fruit. And yes. Yes, they do. Yeah, that that's why we're here. We're not here for the fruit. It's not one simple thing. It's all the things. They just had to come together, you know? The whole world is like a giant primal stone, and we're inside it. I like that perspective. And I thought I had to find my wings, but that's just it. I am the wing. Yes, you're the sail. That makes less <laughs> sense. But okay. No, Rayla, it makes perfect sense. Oh, come on, stop holding out on me. This is epic. Aspero. Color me impressed, Callum. Esprin, you're back. Hey, stop that. <laughs> I love your zappy kisses. Okay, Callum, that's just normal. You can do magic again. Yeah, you can do magic again. Uh, who are you? You missed a few things. I don't. I haven't learned his name yet. Corvus. Okay. I serve the young king. What? I know about dad. I like how Ezran is taking this. He's not like being all upset with Callum and Rayla for not telling him. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, lure it in so you can murder it and harvest its insides for power. Patient needs rest. Claudia is. I think Claudia is a, a lost cause, you know. Hey, what's this? I can, I can move my toes. We'll, we'll get into it more. I can, I can feel again. I can feel my knees and my, oh, my strong, powerful thighs. <laughs> yeah, you dummy thick. <laughs> and my ribs. I can feel again. Ah, ah. <sighs> Claudia. You're going to be better now. <sighs> That's all that matters. Didn't have that white streak before, right? No, she didn't. When you told me assassins were coming for dad, I ran away and hid in the walls. And when I found out Dad was gone forever, I ran away again. I've been running away from things... Oh no, he's gonna go back with Corvus. He can't. He has to stay with the group, doesn't he? It feels like that's what he's saying, that he needs to take responsibility because he's king now. 
I'm not going with you to Zadia. Yeah, that's where we're going. I have to face my responsibility. <sighs> now that I'm king, I have to go home. Please do not go home. Go myself. to the, no, I no. Go with the, go with these the people. Go with Callum and As and Rayla uh, to the border world. fort thing. I know. To Amaya. I wish I could go with you, but I can't. You can though. You and Rayla have to do this without me. <sighs> with the king and keep him safe. Yeah, fortunate that we have you, I guess, Corvus, but I don't like this. I'll miss you, Rayla, but I'll see you again. What about Bath and Sim? You bet. Are you going to bring one of them with you? As soon as Zim is home. I mean, can't bring Zim, of course, because we need to bring him home. That's the whole point of the show. <laughs> but like, but Bath has bonded a lot with Callum re recently. I'm sorry I couldn't help you learn to fly, but I know you'll get it soon. This has to be temporary just has to be I, I i i i do i'm not gonna believe this i refuse to accept this no this is bullshit i agree bait 100 percent you tried to win over the other humans with loyalty and friendship but they ignored you yeah. Those who fail tests of love are simple animals. They deserve to be motivated <laughs> by fear. By fear, huh? Okay. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's time to uh, be more evil. Oh, are these the weapons of the elven assassins? And he's gonna like reanimate them? Oh, this is not a good look. To Neolandia, oh. to Revenir, and to Durin. Uh, I don't care all that much about the three kings, but the young queen. Can't you can't get her? I can't believe we're almost to Zadia. We came this far, and Ez isn't with us. Yeah, it's nonsense. It's bullshit. Think about that. One hundred percent. He's doing the right thing, and so are we. Yeah, but you're walking really slowly. One simply walks into Zadia, huh? <laughs> Hold on. You have to know the path. Sort of... Not all the rocks sink that quickly. <laughs> okay. Those special stones are called the Moonstone Path. And you know where it is? Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so, how do we know? Patience, friend. Okay, the moon will reveal them. Okay. But this is terrible because this Esran is not going to know this, so he's gonna, not going to be able to rejoin. Yeah, you have very limited amount of time. Prepare for battle. <laughs> By order of the High Council. He's not. <laughs> well, what will it for them? Oh no, that's not a good look. Oh, so what? what, what was, what's, oh no. <laughs> Jesus. He's just turning them. Like he's properly murdering people. And there the bird goes. I'm over that theory, by the way. Surrender, Viren. He's not gonna surrender. It's over. Give yourself up. Don't make me give the order. <sighs> Did you fail, Aravos? Or are you gonna just be patient because you saw something? I will stay with you. Just patience. Sky's getting lighter. We need to hurry. If oh. the sun rises, we won't be able to see the <laughs> Yes, yeah, so stop talking. Run. Friggin' run. Oh, you don't have the luxury of waiting. Callum? What's wrong? Why are you stopping? Because he hears Sim needs help. I can see something. Whoa. Strange S run magic? You need to block the light. 
I was gonna say Callum could use that. Uh, like, f hey, he doesn't know that spell. It was Varen who used that. You can do this, Sam. Oh, is he gonna fly? He's flying. Oh, <laughs> epic. I knew you could do it. He's this is so sweet. Esron got to teach him to fly after all. Oh, you can do it, Sam. I believe in you. He isn't going to make it. Oh. Give him some air to help. We did it! <laughs> this is a great season finale. Yeah, you did it, Sim. You're a weird king, King Ezrin. I know. <laughs> that must be some like different kind of magic. Either something really old or something completely new. Failed missions, mad dad. But Dragonhorn means magic? Maybe dad not mad. No, he's still gonna be mad, but maybe not mad as an angry, maybe mad as an insane. Zadia! <gasps> oh no! Is it? It's him. Is the dra dragon. Oh? Color me massively intrigued. Thanks for the cliffhanger. <laughs> soul Regem. So soul as in sun, you know. Um, so thunder was... No, thunder kept watch during the day. Uh, soul Regem, maybe he's like the... I don't freaking know, man. But he's related to the day, of course. Anyway, that was episode 9 of season 2 of The Dragon Prince, the season finale for season 2. So, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's see, let's start, let's go character-wise, instead of, like, going by the episode. Esrin seems to be tapping into some, like, new kind of magic. Because, like, talking to animals, that seems like a new thing. Or something very old that hasn't been around for a long time. I'm curious as to what makes Esran and Callum special. Because there must be something, right? Or was this, like, was this human potential available um, so, since forever? It's just that no one has tapped into it previously? Like, what makes Esran able to talk to animals, you know? And now he can do more than just talk. Now he can, like, communicate across distance. I'm really curious to see where that's going to go. Um, this also, like, since this was at a distance, there must not be, like, a limit to it. Uh, I'm guessing, at least. This means that he's going to be able to, like, keep in touch with, uh, with Asim Asimondias. Right? I just want to say Osimandias. <laughs> Zim with the Dragon Prince. I don't know. They're connected somehow. Uh, I don't like his choice. Is it the right choice? I don't know. Probably, yeah. I guess technically this might be the right choice, but I don't have to. I don't. I don't need to like it. Because, like, if the uh, child king of one of the human kingdoms, possibly the <laughs> only living king of uh, humanity, because of what Viren did, but like if he's uh, traipsing around Zadia, he's going to be a very interesting bargaining chip for people to capture and use against humanity. Callum is also like he's related, like he's technically royalty as well, but he is not as in interesting, you know. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Let's talk about Callum. I really like his realization. That's really good. And it makes so much sense, you know? If you think about this from, uh, like, humans, we're not able to use magic. We don't have any arcanum inside us. We have nothing that makes us special, is what humans are thinking. Like, we're just human, you know? We're not magical. There's nothing, like, special about us. So we need to use tools in order to use magic. 
uh, the the primal stones, or in the case of dark magic, like the life force of uh, uh, ma- beings, uh, living beings who have magic inside of them, while not realizing that they they don't realize that they can use themselves, that they have the same magic inside of them that everyone else does. Um, it's just that they think they're not special enough. Or they don't think that they're special in any way that they... So they don't... Like, they haven't ever considered this possibility. So I take back what I said previously. Esrin must be something special about him. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe this was inside all people. Uh, elves and humans and, like, everyone uh, from from the beginning. And they've just, like, not realized it all along. Because this is... What's inside Callum is obviously inside uh, everyone, right? It must be that way, right? Like, there's nothing stopping Callum from... There's nothing stopping Callum from using uh, other magic, not just Sky, uh, in the same way that none of the elves, like the Moonshadow Elves, they're not just tied to the moon. They can, uh, like, make this same realization that like the entire world is a primal stone and you you need to use yourself like harness yourself to use to access the magic of the the primal stone that is the planet this episode also served to um make me massively interested i I mean i was already interested in this aravos guy but (laughs) this (laughs) this just like ramps that up like tenfold don't remember all of it, but they like I know Harrow talked about talked about him in his letter at the end when he talked about uh, the mage Aravos. And his like the key of Aravos was that cube. How do you use it? Like uh, whatever. But like I um, I think I'm still stuck on that the idea that I had last time, you know, that he is imprisoned. That's why they they have that mirror the dragon king had that mirror because he was keeping an eye on his prisoner and he's using viren to escape he was able to do more than just talk to viren here though because he was able to channel himself through viren like viren used magic that he's not supposed to be able to use Uh, although like if we go by what we said about callum then he's supposed to be able to use it like he just doesn't realize that he has the potential he hasn't unlocked his potential yet, just... Hmm. It's also interesting, because this brings back something I talked about, like, in the... Uh, in the episodes with the flashback, I think it was. Um, that Viren... Like, what I need to get to is for Viren to be, like, the commander who leads, like, the invasion. You know, I, I talk about, like, I, I get so far ahead of myself. And I want Viren to be like this. Yeah, the villain. Like, figuratively, a Fire Lord, Ozai. Um, and in doing so, we need to, like, we need to get a confrontation. And can't just sit around where he's at. And he needs to, like, unite humanity. Even though he failed to do so, like, in the, at the meeting. But, like... Is he going to be able to do that now? Is he going to be able to unite humanity behind his banner? Because he's the only ruler. Although Esrin is heading back now. And that's... Maybe that's... Hmm. Curious. I'm thinking about how that's going to impact things. Okay, here, here's a theory. Uh, for what could happen next. Claudia and Soren. They return. They return ahead of Esran. Uh, they find out that they're father is imprisoned, they try to free him, they get in trouble. Esrin shows up, and he, because, like, they're my friends, let's release them, because he's not going to want to execute them, or anything, or, like, maybe keep them imprisoned. And somehow, Viren is going to get free, and... I don't know. Because if Esran returns, then Viren can't use the throne. He can't use the power of his, like his office as like the high mage or like the royal mage or whatever. He can't be like the regent uh, anymore, and he won't have any power. Like it's been proven that he is a traitor, or like he is 
Yeah, something along those lines. Like, he's not going to have any, any power to do anything. So that means that what? Aravos is with him now. And Aravos is, if I'm right, he's imprisoned. And he wants to help Viren. Uh, give Viren power so that Viren can break him free. Like, he's slowly, seductively whispering in his ear and turning him into, like, his, the perfect tool to assist Aravos with, I'm guessing, escape. Like, I like that, but at the same time, I don't like that. Because that means that if that's true, then Aravos is going to take over as the bad guy. And Viren is just going to get sidelined. And we've had two seasons of Viren. Could be done very well, I guess. But I will, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, well, one more thing. I have... I think I've now officially given up on the idea of the bird being the king. That, you know, yeah, I talked about it. That back in season one, in the beginning of season one, that um, Viren, against Harrow's uh, wishes, uh, did the spell to, like, put this king's soul into the bird's body. I think that, if I'm going to be completely honest, I think that they were planning on doing that at first. Like... And then, like, during production, they changed their mind and, and steered away from that. Uh, but, like, I don't think it's the case anymore. Because if it was the case that that was the king, then they would have had scenes where, very innocently, but scenes where Viren interacted with the bird, you know? Like, and we were not supposed to think that anything untoward was happening. But, like... In hindsight, we would have been able to see that he was talking to Harrow. He, he was, like, not just keeping Harrow's bird because of, like, he misses Harrow or anything like that. But he, the bird has not, like, featured whatsoever since, like, that episode where, where the bird was introduced, basically. Um, so I think that they abandoned that idea, but kept it in the show because those episodes were already done. It was, like, mid-production that they changed their mind. Anyways, I think I've uh, ranted on for quite enough time, so I'm gonna uh, end this video, uh, and can't wait to jump into season 3. It sucks so hard that there's only 3 seasons available at this moment, but yeah, I I I'll be ready and raring to go as soon as season 4 hits, because I've heard that it is coming. Uh, there's been like a hiatus for this for a while. I guess that it was unsure whether or not they would be able to continue in the show. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we, we're definitely getting a season four and I'm really excited to get to it. But first we need to get through season three, which I'm even more excited for. But that is for a different day. For today I'm done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.